going on YouTube long time no talk uh, this hatchback right here the H to B pop the head gasket and blue ringland as you can see which I'm taking out of it anyways um here's the chunk I want to show a quick video of how to change the main bearings without taking out the motor. Um, gonna do a big build on this, real simple. I'll explain it later in another video, but it it's gonna make 260 easy on E85. Should be sick. Really cheap build, really really cheap. Um. Anyway, so we got got it taken off pin and everything, rods, all of that. Now what you're going to need side cutters um, a cutter pin this is key right here make sure it's clean also. I mean you're going to clean this all this whole block after you're done. Kind of bend it like this or so Already got a couple out. Bearings are kind of. Uh, can't really tell, but they're kind of. The rods, rod bearings are the worst, but the stuff there. That's going to be replaced. Anyways, I'm just replacing it all because it's cheap. And it's worth it. It needs replaced. So, what you're going to do. Got your ratchet on your crank. Got your cotter pin. Got these oil galleys, right? Right here. Right here. This is really tough to do under the car and film. So we'll see what happens. I've taken off these first two. Um, let's take off this one right here. So what I'm going to do spin this crank until I see that hole. Oh wow, the middle one does not have a hole. What? So it's not going to work for the middle one. I'm going to have to figure that out. <laughs> Wow. Anyways, that should be pretty simple. Once you get it moving, they come out. Anyways, so I've got it. Got it kind of right, almost where it's about to make way with that. Excuse the big bruise on my nail. I'll put this. Here, um, wow, I can't really do this with your hand. with two hands and film. Maybe I can push the crank by hand. Ugh, yep, I can. Okay. Um. Okay, just made contact right there. See that? Now, I'm gonna very slowly do this so I don't. Scratch anything. You can see already with that thing coming out. And it should be oiled up, so it's going to just plop right out, probably on my phone. I just do it super slow. There's no reason to do this fast. You're building a motor, you don't want to scratch anything. Make sure that cotter pin is clean because when you're doing this, it's probably leaving a tiny little mark. I mean, it's not going to do shit. Excuse my language. It's not gonna hurt anything. And if there if there's any pressure on this and you're actually having to force it with the ratchet, just stop what you're doing right now. Because once you get that in, you have to go all the way around it. Because you can't turn it back around because it's gonna it's gonna just be facing the wrong way, that cotter pin. That's why you bent it this way, right? So I am almost at the edge. 
first time I put my phone, how about that? Maybe I'll just stick to the little crank. <laughs> Alright, there we go. And there you go. Here's the main bearing. How to remove it? Crank it back. There's that bad boy is, and it just pops out. If it doesn't come out, use a uh, magnet of some sort. Right there, that's all you need right there. Kind of beat up, but uh, it's going to work. Anyways, <clears throat> as you can see, nothing scarred, nothing, anything. The only thing that sucks is you can't see if you scarred the inside of it but it's rather soft metal should be fine a little trick as for this one I think I know what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna jab it and once it gets going then I can crank it and I can maybe floss it on out there you know what I mean anyways just a quick little video this is H23A I'm going to do H23A1 rods, Pro 2 cams, fully ported head, big intake, manifold, sheet metal style, and E85 with a huge header. Anyways guys, a little update. I haven't posted for a while because things got busy. So, later.